four and one to end it off yo i'm telling y'all man this is actually i think one of the best teams if not the best team in love cup i uh don't like to overhype stuff or clickbait stuff but this actually i think is that good hey everyone if you've seen the title of this video or seen the thumbnail already you probably know what's about to happen and that is i am about to reveal probably the best love cup team ever i know that's a bold claim and in the day of clickbait i understand why you might be suspicious on the screen you'll see my starting elo as well as my ending elo which is almost 300 points gained in the leaderboard range so facing some of the top players and in this process i didn't go negative one time and i played a total of nine sets which equals to a little less than two days of sets so the team i've been running is C King with Electrode and Metacham in the back. The movesets are really important to note here. So all of C King's moves are legacy. So this is quite the expensive investment. If you have a really old C King, you might have one or two of these legacy moves, but you have to spend at least one Elite TM up to three Elite TMs. I run Electrode with Foul Play. I'll kind of talk about more why in this video, but in my opinion, I think it's a little bit safer of a moveset than Hyper Beam. And the Metacham I run with Ice Punch rather than Power Punch. Honestly, just for the mirror match alone, that could be pretty crucial. But there's been a few times where I've enjoyed having Ice Punch as well. I did a total of five sets on my own and four sets on my patron stream. So I'll showcase all my battles for my five sets off stream. Before we get into the battles, a big shout out to all my patrons who've been supporting my content creation. If you would also like to have early access to my strategies and lineups, as well as my various guides on how to use these teams and additional behind the scenes footage, feel free to sign up in the Patreon link down below. Eridos is definitely a little bit tough for this team. It has play against the entire lineup. So uh, this is probably the best case scenario. Um, I go with Sea King here and uh, I just go for Icy Wind because both moves are neutral. So if you could debuff it, great, because you get a good farm down. Something I've been doing in later games is actually shielding that first lunge because if this Sea King chooses to shield the Icy Wind, uh, it becomes really tough to take out. Uh, my opponent here is actually um, choosing to let all the moves go, and that's fine. This is my first battle with the team, um, so you kind of get to see my initial thoughts on how to use it. Aloma Mola, um, not too great against the team. Seeking resists the water moves. Uh, Medjam only takes neutral, and they kind of have to dump a lot of, uh, build up to a lot of energy to be able to throw anything, and Electrode obviously very, very strong against it. Um, obviously power punch would be a little better here, but, uh, the ice punch chip damage is fine. Um, but yeah, so you get to kind of see how my gameplay evolves throughout these few sets. Um, but the biggest strategy really here is unless you really run into electrode in the lead or a bug steel in the lead, you pretty much stay in with your Sea King. Sea King super strong because it has coverage moves against pretty much everything. And it's able to debuff your opponents too. So you could get a really strong farm down. Both Electrode and Medicham are very, very strong in this meta uh, with energy. Um, so that's kind of my general thought process. Uh, it's not the most complicated strategy, but um, it is definitely a more unique one because I think most teams you're swapping out of lead matches more often than this one. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to shield the Power Whip here. So if you look at the health on my Sea King, um, my Sea King is a rank one. So against uh, Lick of Tongues, if you don't have the rank one, it you might probably lose that matchup. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but just something to note. Um, I do come in with my Electrode here just to do some extra damage. Uh, I'm going to shield um, and ends up being Sludge Bomb. So that's pretty crucial. Um, and then they come in with the Metacham. I do go for a uh, Discharge to weaken it a little bit. And then now I come in with my own Metacham. Um, the weakening of this Metacham with some uh, Volt Switches is definitely crucial. And then this opponent is running the Power Punch um, Psychic variant. But again, I'm not a huge fan of it in this meta. It doesn't really help it much. They spent more energy than I did. And I mean, they took a few Volt Switches to change the difference, but I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to run it, but in my opinion, I think it's kind of a wasted move. Um, 
All right, so again, it's going against my buddy Jingles here. Um, again, Eridos, super tough, but its best matchup is against that Metacham. And anytime I can avoid that, that's a good sign. Um, a lot of Eridos, again, do not shield that first Icy Wind, but I've been shielding that first lunge just to be on the safer side. Um, okay, so he comes in a Loma Mola here. I'm kind of expecting that he has another check to this electrode in the back, which is why I'm deciding to stay in uh, because he is pivoting out here and the uh, Eridos is not as big of an issue, so I don't really have to worry too much about it. He probably also want to clear debuffs here. Uh, I'm going to shield this because um, this lunge is going to do quite a bit of damage and I do have double discharges ready. So he shields the first one. I'm going to drop the second one right away. Let's see what he has in the back and is his own seeking. So, um, I should have built to that discharge, but um, either way, uh, I should be okay here because the psychic is going to do a lot of damage and he's going to have to shield it. Uh, and he actually chooses not to shield, um, and I'm going to counter down right there. All right, um, my cargo. Uh, this one's actually running Rock Throw, uh, which is kind of interesting. I kind of expected it to be Incinerate, um, but. Uh, they do come in with their Metacham here, and I'm going to debuff again. I'm probably staying in this matchup a little bit longer than I should be. Um, but I'm going to let this move go, and it's just going to be a Power Punch. I come in with my Electrode. Um, now, this is where I realized I probably made a mistake. If they're running a Cargo in the lead, especially one with Rock Throw, there is a good chance that they have a stronger Metacham encounter in the back rather than their own Metacham. Which means I probably should counter swap their Metacham that was, uh, well, it wasn't debuffed anymore because it power punched back its damage, but weakened Metacham with my Metacham. Um, obviously, this is like a good scenario though. So um, they do throw a blind Rock Tomb, which is kind of nice, but unfortunately, with the shield remaining as well, too, this is going to be a little bit uh, unfortunate. But so definitely kind of a misread on my end, uh, misplay, but I think definitely very winnable if uh, I thought more carefully about what to swap there. All right, uh, but like I said, you're seeing every single match, including all of my misplays and um, poor decision making. Um, uh, so my opponent here does swap in their uh, Loma Mola, and I'm gonna come in with my Electrode here. Um, the good news about going against Slow Bros and Slow Kings is that their charge wings take a while to get to, so you can safely farm down a lot of these situations. And then they come in with a Galarian Slow King. I'm throwing a Discharge here, trying to make them think that I might have um, Hyper Beam instead of Foul Play. So now I'm actually able to land this Foul Play because they probably expected that to be another Discharge. I don't think it made a huge difference. Might've been kind of a risky play, but I figured they had two shields, they're probably gonna shield. So they actually Future Sight my, um, uh, yeah, Seeking, which is kind of big because that's a lot of energy. And then now I'm going to No Shields uh, because I know I'd survive one Psychic and um, I just didn't want to get debuffed and uh, be in a worse spot for the second one. Um, so yeah, able to go four and one in this first set, uh, as you can see, starting my initial climb uh, in this meta. Town Flame, uh, really, really good against Town Flame with this team. I just need to maintain switch advantage. I'm fine because Electro is actually even better against Town Flame. So I'm just going to stay in here. Uh, I'm going to shield though. Uh, this is actually a very valuable shield because there's a good chance that whatever they come in with, I can still debuff. I'm going to over farm just a little bit here. I probably could have farmed this all the way down, but because I got debuffed by the Psychic, I didn't want to take too much confusion damage. Um, they are coming back in with their talent, which is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm going to Icy Wind and they do shield and I get to another Icy Wind after being debuffed as well on my defenses, still able to get to it. And then now they come in with the Lickitung, um, I'm going to no shield this. Lickitung actually does quite sh well against a Medicham because that's super effective lick damage. Um, but I'm going to just go straight for the nuke. Uh, I know that my uh, Electro can clean up. So I actually don't mind if they take me out here because... Uh, oh, wait, they don't. But because uh, my Electrode, uh, I didn't want them to farm me down too much here. But I come in with my Electrode here. I'm going to no shield. Brave Bird is resisted. Flame Charge is just neutral. Um, now I'm going to shield the second one, and there's no way they get to a third in time. Town Flame Bleed, very nice to see, because you have two very strong checks um, in this lineup. All right, Crustle, not something you see very common. Again, when the Icy Wind and the Drill Run are both neutral, you just throw the Icy Wind. It makes your matchups in the back end much easier. I'm going to no shield, it is going to be a rock side. I do get KO'd here. Um, I come in 
with my uh, Metacham and they come in with a Shadow Slowbro. I do get to the Discharge first and they actually shield. So this makes my decision easy. I'm going to shield right here and try to farm all the way down. I've hopefully no defense drop and that wasn't the case, but taking a lot of damage from those Shadow Confusions, that's for sure. All right, they come back in with Cross Soul. I'm just going to throw this guy. I don't want to take any Smackdowns. And then they come in with a Scolipede. Um, so they're probably going to no shield this and I have to swap right away because uh, they have to worry about the Psychic, uh, worry about a potential bait here and it is a bait, um, but I figured the letting go of Sludge Bomb would also be kind of rough. I still get hit by the Sludge Bomb, but we had to build to two Ice Punches to take this out and we get to it. Um, double Power Punch probably wouldn't find there too, to be honest, um, but uh, yeah, Ice Punch definitely solid. Um, the, the one move I really wouldn't recommend is Dynamic Punch. Um, I would definitely run Power Punch over Dynamic Punch um, just because you just need a lower energy move in my opinion all right um slow bro very solid because it's quite the wall to uh metacham walls off all of his movesets um they actually do shields with their electrode here that's fine i go straight for the psychic they haven't thrown any energy yet so if they let this go that's huge and they do that's absolutely big and then they also try to confusion me down or get to psychic i don't really know but um we're in a good spot here a uh, very good spot i have energy here uh, they have shields down. I still have a whole electrode in the back. If they bait me, that's not a big deal. If they don't bait me, that's fine too. Um, again, not too worried here. Uh, I could survive a psychic. Well, I'm actually not even worried about the psychic here because my seeking can finish this off. So I don't want to fall for any baits. Uh, this player is running Ice Punch as well, but not enough to KO the electrode. All right, another Lickitung lead. The toughest part about Lickitungs are if they are baiting you with body slams. Uh, we're probably going to run into at least one or two of those in this footage. Um, but this one is going straight power whip. Whenever they go straight power whip, that's a good spot for you to be in. Uh, because, yeah, and now they swap over to their slow bro. I am going to swap over and drop this discharge. They do shields. Um, but again... This thing is easy, like it's easy to play into these slow bros um, because in slow kings, because um, you can gauge the farm pretty easily. I almost actually get psychic down the or confusion down, so that's a little bit tight of a matchup. And they come in with a Loma Mola. I go straight for the drill run here. There's really no need to go icy wind. Um, I just want the damage so that my psychic can definitely take it out. And they go in straight for the psychic. Now, um, I might be able to actually just ice punch this thing down. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna go straight for the Ice Punch just because uh, if they know Shield, then I could just counter down. And yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen there. Charming 2 Legend is what I'm about to face right now. Is this Lickitung Double Charm? That's exactly what was going through my mind the whole time uh, I was facing this matchup. Double Charm would be kind of brutal for my backline, but uh, let us see. So uh, this player actually is also baiting with Body Slam, which is not ideal. So I'm probably going to lose switch advantage at this point in time. I definitely have to let this power whip go. They actually go body slam again. Uh, I'm a little confused, but I'm just going to let these go as well. They're double debuffed. I decided to save my energy here and they swap over to a shadow slow bro, which is an interesting counter swap to my electrode. And yeah, I don't, I don't really know. So um, might have been misclick. I do get debuffed there, but I am able to farm all the way down. I'm going to probably spam this uh, discharge, and they actually come in down flame. Uh, very interesting. Not really sure. Yeah, I guess it's it's a tough backline. Um, I'm going to snipe this down with an icy wind to finish it off. It's kind of easier to snipe uh, incinerate user for sure. And then uh, I didn't really want to reveal the Metasham, but I guess I have to here. Uh, I'm going to counter it down. Um, so surprisingly, they weren't using double charm at least, um, but able to go 5-0 in this set after a 4-1 and climbing quite a bit. All right, uh, Metacham lead, first Metacham we're seeing. Um, again, you just go Icy Wind here. Uh, both moves are neutral. The debuffs can be really nice. Um, the thing is you don't actually have to shield or psychic to get off another Icy Wind. I didn't really realize this until one of my patrons pointed that out to me. So shout out to Boot Belly who did that. Um, but it's actually probably a really good no shield in case they decide to bait you with power punches too. Um, but uh, yeah, so probably not the best um, play by me to shield there, but we are going to come in with the Metacham and uh, this is a very good matchup for Metacham because you are resisting all those counters 
Um, Exorcist is neutral though, but not a big deal. Their match jam is quite low, so let's see what they come in with. It is going to be a uh, Shadow Slowbro. Let's see if they shield or not. They do shield. So we are going to uh, probably Volt Switch this thing down. Let's see what they decide to do. Okay, so I end up throwing Discharge and they catch it, which is not a big deal, because now I could easily Volt Switch down and not worry about throwing anything. Um, so it worked out. Um, We're going against another Lickitung. Um, this meta is quite small, so the amount of matchups that you'd be facing that are quite unique are definitely going to be a little bit on the rare side. Uh, so I think that also makes this team much more viable because there's not really much to surprise you uh, with. Um, so yeah, um, my opponent does go straight for the power whip in this variation. You don't have to shield the first uh, power whip, to be honest, because I'm telling people this and maybe everyone just starts throwing biceps after they see this video. So. Um, they come in with their own Sea King here, which is fine. I'm going to come in with my Metacham. I do have the, um, yeah, they go Power Punch. So I go straight for Psychic here, uh, and they no shield, which is absolutely huge for me. Again, having the Ice Punch is nice just for this matchup alone. Their Metacham had an energy lead. Uh, we're both kind of lagging there, I think. I assume it's probably neutral. I don't know. I'm getting the Spinning Ball at that, though. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue no shielding. Uh, they do go for the Psychic, which is fine. Um, and uh, I'm going to shield this probably a Power Punch, but uh, not the end of the world. I just need to get to another Discharge before uh, they get to their Drill Run, and we should be fine. Um, but yeah, again, run the Ice Punch. It's just, it's just better, in my opinion. All right, another Lickitung lead. <laughs> Everyone's running these, um, but it's fine though. It's very strong in this meta. This one's a very obvious body slam. This is another play they can do is just throw the body slam and don't even try to go for the power whip uh, before they get debuffed, which it's not a bad play. Um, I am going to throw the drill run here, get some damage off, and then I'm going to bring in my electrode. Um, I'm going to shield and then just farm down per usual. Um, because I, I didn't really need to save the energy for the Lickitung because my Medicham can finish that off. So I'm going to just do some guaranteed damage there. Um, but looking back on it, maybe I could have just came in straight away with Electrode. I'm not sure. Um, they do have to shield this if they want to keep this Lickitung alive. And they actually don't shield it. Kind of interesting. Um, so I am going to go straight for this Discharge here. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, probably got no shield and probably just go straight Ice Punch. I don't know. So they're going Power Punch here. And they're going another power punch, so I'm like, all right, not too worried. Um, they're just going straight power punches. All right, I just got to shield the last one here at this point. Um, I do go for an ice punch here. Um, maybe I should have just gone for psychic. It's probably the safer play. Um, and they no shield. So now I have to build to two ice punches. These power punches are starting to add up. And this is when I realized I probably should have shielded something. Or I probably should have thrown a psychic. But I did neither. So... We are now in a desperate time and we end up simultaneously KOing each other. So we do get a tie there. Again, my own personal misplay. Uh, as you can see in this footage, there's going to be some of those. Um, but if I just clean up my play a little bit, I probably would have been okay there. Um, yeah, so probably some people are saying that's a good case for a power punch. Yeah, maybe. I don't know how often you get a power punch down another med champ, but it did happen in that scenario. Um, I am going to debuff this thing, which I don't really know why I did it. <laughs> I probably should have saved the energy, um, but I am coming in with Metacham. So probably a misplay, but let's see if that haunts us later in the back end or not. Going straight for the Psychic. Uh, really want shields down here, um, but they are going to no shield. And see, this is where the Icy Wind didn't really make much sense. I should have saved the energy because they end up still getting to move and force me into shield. And now... We're in a weird spot, a very weird spot. Um, I'm going to no shield this. I still have a whole third Pokemon left. Yeah, this is not looking so good. Um, and we do end up having to probably shield this too. Um, luckily, it was a lunge instead of a cross poison. I don't know if it's good actually because now I'm debuffed. But yeah, they got a whole lick of tongue left. Could have probably saved my energy here, but it doesn't really matter. There's almost no way I take this thing out. Uh, my Icy Wind or Energy saved on my Seeking probably would have been okay there, but it's pretty much over at this point. I was hoping to maybe catch a move. Um, maybe they throw a blind move there, but uh, they were too smart not to do that and then finish me off right there. So, uh, again, winnable 
just more so a misplay. All right, um, my opponent here is going Talon with a Scrafty safe swap. Kind of interesting. I had a feeling that this might be double fighter in the back with a Talon lead, but typically speaking, it's Meta Chairman that's the counter swap. So that's why I decided to bring in my Meta here in case that it's not actually a Meta Chairman in the back. The good news is I have play against their Talon Flame either way. And so I do actually end up realizing that it's not a meta champ, which should end up working out quite well. Uh, they do discharge me, and I'm going to let that go because now I just need to save double shields for my electrode. Um, this one's probably running Hyper Beam, like a lot of them are, but that's okay because we just shield. Um, there's really no reason for me to get risky there, and they are going to see the match right there. Um, they actually didn't even see that half outplay, but ended up working out. Another positive set, only a 3-2. I think one of them was a tie. And now we're just going to showcase the climb I had on my patron stream. A total of four sets. As you can see, it went 3-2, and 4-1, and one, climbing 3-2 and two again against some of the top players on the leaderboard and ending off the stream on a 4-1, and one, climbing all the way almost to 3,400. Let's see how much higher we can go. Going against Asian Milkman, um, the Scrafty in the lead. First Scrafty we're seeing in the lead. Um, whether you shield a foul play or not is kind of an interesting scenario. I'm choosing not to. My guess is I need the shields because their backline's probably pretty good against Metacham. They need Metacham counters in the back, so my electrode has to do some work here. And here's the first Metacham counter. Uh, this is kind of an annoying matchup. Maybe I should have brought in the Metacham here instead of the. Electrode in case they have a water in the back or a talent flame in the back, uh, both would be kind of annoying. Um, at least with my meta cham, I can at least drop uh, ice punches for neutral or psychic for super effective. Uh, or actually, psychic might just be neutral because of yeah, it's it's uh, psychic subtyping. So I go straight for the foul play catch because I kind of knew, I knew they had energy here, which is absolutely crucial. And here comes the water type, the Slow King, Shadow Slow King of all things. Um, it's going to do a lot of damage. You need to both switch this thing down and we simultaneously KO each other and then we simultaneously KO each other again. So <laughs> we get another tie, super close match. Um, probably could have been a few things I could have improved there, but also catching the foul play on my Metacham was absolutely crucial because I definitely would have lost if I didn't do that. All right, against a slow bro in the lead, um, my opponent does shield here. So I'm going to no shield this um, psychic. Uh, and it looks like they got third shielded, unfortunately, which is very unfortunate. Um, and I'm going to drop the icy one here. So unfortunately, it does happen. Um, and uh, that might cost them the match, but let's see. And they have electrode and um, Medicham in the back. So almost mirror team except for the lead, which honestly, without the third shields, I probably still would have won because I would have just farmed down the slow bro uh, that did not have much energy. And then with energy and a still a shield advantage, uh, it's I'm in a good spot. Um, but uh, yeah, always unfortunate when that does happen though. Um, and then my opponent is going to see the match right there. Uh, another area dose. So uh, this is an area dose that I'm playing a lot later in my sets. So I'm probably going to play this a little differently. And here you see how I'm playing differently. I'm going to shield the first lunge um, and uh, yeah, go from there. My opponent does actually match shields, which is okay with me, actually. Um, you know, the ice wind doesn't do a ton of damage. What I really want is this thing to be so low that it can't really hurt my backline too much. Uh, they do go for a cross poison here. I'm going to go for another icy wind and uh just really ensuring they can't really farm me down completely um but they do a great snipe with their electrode here i am going to go straight for the psychic this might be a hyper beam it's okay if it is they actually go straight discharge that's fine too uh the cyber is going to, or the psychic is going to do a lot of damage able to finish it off they do have an air dose in the back i come in with my electrode just to get some energy lead here let's see what they have in the back though then they get to another move. Unfortunately, I might have to shield a cross poison, and that's exactly what happens here. And it's a Scrafty. Not too bad, but honestly, if I didn't have to shield a cross poison and shield a lunge instead, I'd probably be in a slightly better spot. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving the Scrafty more energy here. Um, but really, honestly, that snipe down by Electrode probably did... Yeah, that's probably solid there. Um, I don't know if I would have got to move either way. Um, but yeah, they were able to finish me off there. Um, so... Uh, Lickitung in the lead. Again, we go straight for the Icy Wind. This one looks like they're going straight Body Slam right away as well. 
not the end of the world. And then we're going to go icy wind here. Uh, definitely not really worth shielding the bison, in my opinion. And then they come in Slowbro. Um, the good news is against Slowbro, when you counter swap with Electrode, you get to that discharge pretty quickly. Um, they end up still getting to Psychic, so really good recognition of their bulk on their Slowbro. Um, but uh, yeah, they'll probably come in with a Lickitung here. Uh, it's going to do a good chunk of damage with Discharge, but this Lickitung is also very bulky still. I'm going to no shield this and just counter down. Again, Metacham with energy is very, very strong. I'm kind of glitched a little bit here, so I just need to wait for them to throw a move before I could do anything. I'm going to go and shield the Psychic. Um, I'm going to bait with the Ice Punch. Um, and they... <laughs> Don't fall for the bait. <laughs> so we're in a tough spot. This might be a loss. Let's see. Let's see how we play this out. Um, Ice Punch is a little bit safer for damage purposes at least than uh, Power Punch. And um, yeah, so it's still adding up quite a bit. And they no shield that second Ice Punch, which is kind of interesting because um, now we're in a really good spot. So Ice Punch coming in kind of clutch. You can't really bait that successfully with Power Punch because you at least get some value out of the Ice Punch. Maybe they thought I had to move on my Seeking. I don't know. Looking back on it, I'm actually really surprised I won that one, but I think I was just as surprised when I played it. Trudagon, I'm really glad we got this matchup because it is actually quite common in the meta these days, and it's very strong, actually. Um, and my opponent is going to catch a move on their Slowbro. Um, I don't really need to worry about the health on my um, Seeking too much, and I'm going to no-shield this as well because this thing is already debuffed. I'm going to try to farm all the way down. We do get a farm down all the way. Absolutely huge. They do sneak a Dragon Tail through. Hopefully I live it. And I do enough to get off a second foul play. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what they do here. I come in with Medicham. Just go for the counter down, I guess. Uh, I am going to go throw a Psychic here just because I don't have switch advantage now. So I'm not going to really have it later. Um, I do grab a shield there, which is actually huge. And then now I'm just hoping to get to this last drill run. And we do get to it. Seeking really proven to be quite useful um and then with the shield remaining they are going to concede and there you go we go three two again uh or actually it's three one and one because we tie with asian milkman and we climb all the way to the 3400s in under two days of sets if i haven't made my point clear already i still stand by it i think this is the best love cup team there is out there at the moment anyway thank you all for watching able to climb quite a bit on the leaderboards with this team and it's been a super ton of fun i know it is an expensive team especially when it comes to that seeking so definitely invest wisely if you like to run the team if you're curious what i do against electro leads i just say swap my own electrode and try to finish it off with energy advantage in the back end i only faced one electrode in the lead and i was able to win it but that was on my patreon stream which is why it's not included in this footage best of luck if you are using the team feel free to tag me on twitter and update me with your progress or tell me how it does for you in the comments down below if you like this video feel free to give it a like and share subscribe for future content hit that notification bell to get alerted right when i post a new video and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.